Finally, the Toyota Supra has landed in Australia. Well, technically, this is the GR Supra racing concept, but strip back that wing, the wide body kit, and this is essentially what you'll get halfway through 2019. This is pretty special. Um, not a lot of people have been able to sit in the new Supra. And yes, the production version won't look quite as Spartan as this, but this is an absolutely incredible machine. I mean, if the seating position is anything like this in the production version, you are gonna get a real sense of being in touch with the ground, being really close to the action. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. This Supra has been developed in tandem with the BMW Z4 and will be built alongside it in Austria, which means it will share much of the dashboard design and borrow lots of BMW switchgear. The question is, can Toyota make the Supra feel unique or will it be a little too German? Some of the aero bodywork on the racing concept is extreme. I mean, look at this outrageous wing. It is ridiculous, but it kind of works. It looks cool but I'm not allowed to touch it because this car cost $2.7 million to build. Production of the Supra will begin early through 2019 and is expected to come to Australia soon after that. Two turbocharged engines will be offered in the new Supra, both BMW derived, a two litre four cylinder and a three litre inline six, both pumping out plenty of power. With the rear drive cars weighing under 1,500 kilograms and Toyota promising 50-50 weight distribution front to rear. The Toyota Supra is steeped in history, starting life in 1978 as a Toyota Celica with a six-cylinder engine. The Japanese icon evolved through four generations, was immortalised in the Fast and Furious movies, has a huge enthusiast following and now moves into its fifth generation. An interesting fact, the guy who developed the brand new Supra, Tetsuya Tata, has already said, buy the smaller two litre, 195 kilowatt Supra, and then put one of these, a 2JZ engine in it. That we would like to see. I'm here with Riley from the Victorian Supra Car Club, and obviously this iconic car is getting the enthusiasts pretty pumped up. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Does it look good? I mean... Yeah, it's um, it's nice to see what the FT1 concept car I think is going to translate to and what that yeah. means for a lot of the Supra guys as well. Given we're used to buying and driving and modifying older cars, never really had the chance to go into a showroom and actually look at a, at a Toyota sports car of this nature. Do you reckon you'll uh, swap a 2JZ into there? Is that uh, on the cards? Not if not if the... Um, oh look, I'd probably go a 7M actually. But no, um, if, um, <laughs> if the if the new power plant's as good as they say, I think I'd like to like to try the new thing rather than stick with the 20 year old yeah. beast. Yeah. The super racing concept looks absolutely stunning. It is bold, it is big, and it's pretty cool to see it here in Australia. And I can't wait to see what the production model looks like too.